to Brett Ridgeways Learning for Life video lessons, and in this lesson, we're going to be learning a tune called the Staten Island Hornpipe. Before we start, I do want to thank all my patrons, as I always do, and deservedly so, because without their help, I could not be doing these lessons. These lessons would not be available without having to pay for them or some kind of a subscription, but because they are giving, these lessons are free for everyone. So thank you, patrons, for giving and supporting this endeavor and this work and supporting me. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the lessons. Thank you for, to those who are watching and sharing and, and commenting and trying to get the word out and liking on YouTube. All that stuff helps these lessons. So I want to thank those who are doing that. And uh, I hope you are doing that. So thank you to those who are. We're going to take this phrase by phrase. And this is not a hard tune. Um, this is actually a nice, fun little tune. I'll give you some variations. But we're going to start with the first phrase. I'm going to actually use my finger. And if you want, you can do this all the way through. I'm not going to. But I have found out sometimes if you use your finger, it helps with the memory. So we're going to play E, I'm sorry, A, G, F sharp, D, A on the bass bridge, D, F sharp. That's your first phrase. You're going to start with your right hand. Listen to the timing. Notice you're ending with your right hammer on this F sharp. You're now going to move that right hammer for your next phrase. Make sure this is memorized. Your right hammer is going to come up to this A. And what we just played was A, C sharp, D, C sharp, D. So F sharp, E, D, B, A. So again, if this helps, so from the beginning. Make sure those two phrases are memorized. Make sure you use that pause button. Here's our next phrase. And here's what we're playing. B, A, G, B, A, G, F sharp, A, G, E. And you can hit that E with two hammers. Real slow. So from the beginning. Make sure that's memorized. The tune's going to start over again. So you're really repeating the first phrase here. Sorry. So that's that's all the same there. So from the beginning. So let's do the last phrase. Or you can catch the lower. That actually sounds better, the harmony note. So 
So let's lead into that one more time. Um, So you're hitting that D with your left hand twice, E, F sharp, G, skip down to the E, up to the F sharp, D, So let's play all through verse, uh, the verse or part A. That is part A. So make sure that's memorized. Use that pause button a lot, as often as you need to. So let's do part B. What you're playing, starting up here on this A. So straight down, repeating that but going down one more note to this E, up to the G. Starting with your right. slowly then you're going to hit the C and then the C and the A together by the way make sure this is memorized if that's not memorized don't don't go on make sure that's memorized so here's the next part you're going to hit the C and the A Cross over to the right side of the treble, or left side of the treble bridge. And you're going to start with your right hand. So with your right hand, you're going to play E, F sharp, G, E. And then you're going to repeat that. Now, your next phrase is very similar. You're just not going to use these two pickup notes. You're going to start up here on this A. So let's, let's show you what you're going to be playing. Then starting up here, it's that same rundown. So the first time you play it through, you're using these two pickup notes. But technically your melody is here. And that's that's what you're playing. So let's do that again so you so you understand that. When you start off, you have these two pickup notes. Starting up here, you're doing that same rundown without the two pickup notes. And 
that is your final phrase right there. D, D, E, F sharp, G, E, F sharp, D, D. Last phrase. However you want to end that there. So let's play all of part B and then I'm going to give you a variation. Here we go. So let me show you a variation uh, on part B instead of going this is a lot of fun you're gonna play so you're playing the A and the C together and then the C going across, you're playing this E, the F sharp, and the G, and listen to the syncopation. So let's, let's play all of that so you can hear it. So again, let me just go through it. It's not hard. That was really slow. Let's do that one more time. So I'm using this right-handed drone, but it's not on every note. You could actually hit these two together. So let's play it all the way through. Take it nice and slow. So let's play it all the way through from the beginning.
So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, it's a, a lot of fun to play, especially when you get it up to speed. One of the things that I would recommend is when you're learning the tune is uh, work on your speed at the beginning. So, so that you do it piece by piece. Now, don't go so fast that you lose the timing and that, that hornpipe rhythm. So you want to work on that piece by piece because you need to keep that hornpipe rhythm to uh, play the tune right. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, we will see you on your very next lesson. Thank you so much for watching.